Sterling K. Brown and Regina Hall star in the fiery new comedy, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. It is a biting satire that takes on the world of mega churches and the people who stand up on those stages. Think Joel Osteen or Tammy Faye and Jay, Jim Baker. And they could not have picked two better people to star in this film than the people who are joining me right now. Sterling, Regina, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you. Thanks for having us, Jay. We thank were you. sharing some laughs that we can't even talk about now that we're on camera. <laughs> but I want to start out with a small detail about this movie that I loved, which if you've spent any time in the South, people will know what we're talking about. The true meaning of bless your heart. Come on, now. If you know or from the South, you know what bless your heart means. Talk to me about, I'm curious, your experience with the, what the phrase bless your heart means. Oh, bless your heart. You're you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that can mean a lot of things and when it's it, it's 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 a cover for something sure. that's so much it's, it means the exact opposite yes <laughs> that's what yeah. it means the exact opposite yeah yeah, whenever my mom says it to me, I'm like, oh, so I'm stupid. Yeah. Right. That's, <laughs> right. that's what I mean. You know, when actors play doctors, they usually call up a doctor and they go to a hospital. Sure. And they do some, if they play a lawyer, they'll go submit some time in court. When you play someone like this, mm. particularly a role that's kind of calling out a lot of hypocrisy around people in these positions, yeah. can you call Joel Osteen and say, hey, I've got some, like, who do you guys call for a situation like this to, to make sure you're kind of getting it right? I wouldn't call Joel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Joel, to, as, as a matter of fact, but I wouldn't call him because I wouldn't want someone to think that I was lampooning yeah, him. Yeah. Sure, sure. There is mean? a difference between a satire it's and true. a lampoon. Absolutely. Sure. You know, you have a, your own personal experience going to the church or whatnot. My best friend is a PK, he's a preacher's kid, so his dad had, had a church that I would go to a lot. So I had different people from my past mm -hmm. that I could call on, but if I called somebody now, and then they saw the movie, they'd be like, why did you call me for this dead gum movie? So I, I stayed away from that. Fair enough. Yeah. You know, one of the things I do love, we were talking about sort of the difference between satire and lampoon. It does call out certain aspects of that world that I think are worthy of being called out. Yes. If a movie like this were going to be made about Hollywood, mm. what are aspects of actors oh. in Hollywood that are worthy of being called out? <laughs> well, I would know as someone who does not embody any of those things. It, no, I, I, what would they call out? Oh, my goodness. I mean, the um, actors can be selfish, necessarily oh, so. Oh, yes. You spend not. so much time looking at your face, yeah. looking at your body, and being what do I wear? And being catered to. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you would you could call out like the that that kind of excess of like, I need this, you know, you could make fun of someone screaming for an apple and they won't go on set. Sure. Until, you yeah. know, the right type like, of apple. Yeah, the right right. right it's gotta yeah. be Actors' yeah. processes, yeah. like what do they go through? Oh. Like the me like method actors. Why yeah. are people only method actors when the character is a jerk? Why are they never meant <laughs> to actors for like nice people? That's a very yeah. good question. That's yeah. true. You know, I love this style, this mockumentary style for people who are familiar with, you know, a Spinal Tap or The Office where characters actually get to break the fourth wall sometimes to yeah. speak to the camera. You guys have played some truly amazing characters in your career. Which of your past characters would you love to have them break the fourth wall and maybe speak directly to the audience? Ooh. I'm gonna let Brenda talk. I think Brenda from Scary Movie would want to talk to the. She audience. would. Yeah. <laughs> she would. She yeah. Most definitely and she thinks she had something to say. Who would I pick? Oh my goodness. Um, I have no idea. It wouldn't be Randall. It wouldn't be Chris Darn. He didn't want to be in front of the camera for anybody at all whatsoever. Um, maybe. God dang it, I'm, I'm wasting time. I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. You brought up something very interesting. We, we in Chicago, we take pride in our great film criticism. We're the home of, of Siskel and Ebert. Yes. And we take yeah. pride. But there is a film critic who I think is even better than them and who I actually would love to get their review of this movie. And I was wondering if we could just show a clip really quickly. So proud. that is Brenda, How did who we pick just the talked theater about. That is just nothing but white that people. That is Brenda. <laughs> and Brenda. If you're unfamiliar with Brenda, it is one of the great performances from a movie I grew up with, Scary Movie. What would Brenda say about this film? Oh, you know what? I think Brenda would really. Well, and she's with Ray too. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's close to home. It's yeah. close it's to close home. To I think home. she'd actually really love Honk for Jesus. I <laughs> think, and, and, and all, while, all the while recording it. Yeah. But she can record it on her phone now, so she can be much, much cooler More about stuff. it. Yeah. Guys, I, I got to cut you loose. Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul hits theaters and Peacock on September 2nd. The three of us have been talking for a very long time. I appreciate you always being kind to me. I love you guys. Thank you for oh, coming. Pleasure, Jay. Appreciate Thank you. Good you to see you so guys much. again. Thank you. Guys, we're going to run a break. We'll be right back.